Vegans eat grass, 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 grass. Guys, it's true. I have actually been eating or consuming grass now. That is wheat grass in fat. And wheat grass has been using holistic medication for generations. And I started taking it at home with my mum around two years ago. And I've had it quite consistently over the last two years. And as I've moved out, I've still, I've still been doing it um, quite consistently. And these are the reasons why I choose to juice wheat grass. It's not very really tasty at all and I'm gonna get my crew in to taste it and let you know their honest opinions because I've sort of gotten used to the flavor now, but uh, I just take it purely for the uh, medicinal properties, how it makes me feel. This, it's so, so good for you and I'm gonna explain all in this video because you guys have been asking me for so long on Instagram why the hell I'm juicing this grass and why I'm taking a shot of it quite often, more or less every day when I'm in a routine at home especially. So guys, these are the trays of wheatgrass and this is the length that I would choose to, to juice it. And the seeds, the wheat seeds, um, are sprouted and after seven to 10 days, this is the length that it gets to and you're ready to juice it. Now I don't grow this myself, you can do at home. I buy this um, and it gets delivered to my door. And I'll pop the link below uh, to let you guys know where I got this from and you may be interested or intrigued to try it yourself after I've told you all the amazing health benefits that this medicine actually has and how good it is for us. So the first thing to remember when buying wheatgrass is that you need to have a suitable juicer. Now, the one I've got is just from Amazon. It's nothing fancy, it's nothing uh, too expensive. The higher up you go the chart in terms of price, the better the juicer and the more yield you'll get from the wheatgrass. So this is what's important with the wheatgrass juicers. You need something that has um, sort of a, like a screw in it and it just squeezes all the juice out of the wheatgrass and it goes through this filter and drips out. So this is why this is very important to have a juice of this kind because there's not much liquid inside those strands of grass. You need something very powerful that's going to squeeze as much liquid out as possible. Just to let you know, I'm not sponsored by this brand or anything like that, juicer brand that is. Uh, just found it on Amazon. If you want one similar, I'll pop a link below. And one quick mention, you can't actually just bite on this and chew it. You won't be able to digest it very well and uh, you need to process wheatgrass before uh, consuming it. So obviously I'm juicing it. Sometimes you can buy it in powder form, which I believe is good, but it's not as good as juicing it into a liquid. Now guys, obviously depending on your juicer will depend on how much wheatgrass you need to fill a shot. Now I do a shot glass every day. Um, when I'm at home and I've got a good routine. However, I would recommend starting off with maybe half a shot and building and working your way up to a full shot each day if you're gonna do it. Now it's very simple to do. I get a bowl and I fill it up with some water and I just cut the wheatgrass as low down as possible, swill it in the water, then get it into the juicer to be juiced. Now wheatgrass juice is sometimes called green blood and that's because of the high levels of chlorophyll inside the juice. And that chlorophyll is amazing for fighting cancer cells. It's really good for arthritis. Uh, it's also a good pain reliever, good for the skin, and also can fight carcinogens in the body. It helps purify the liver. So I'm cutting all of this tray here because I'm gonna make enough for my crew here to taste and try. I tend to get any guest that comes over to my house to have a shot of wheatgrass. Not only because it's good for them, but also because I wanna see the reaction when they taste it. I have it often before going to the gym or doing some exercise. It's almost like having a pre-workout or a shot of coffee or something like that. It gives me a nice energy burst. <laughs> it's got a very peculiar smell when you're juicing it. And uh, I remember when I was at home, lived at home, and my mum would do this downstairs. And I obviously could hear the noise, but you could smell the smell of the wheatgrass coming up. It's not unpleasant, and it's weird, but it reminds me of when I was a kid, and I used to go to the beach and do surfing or whatever, and put a wetsuit on. It used to smell like the wetsuit. I don't know why that is so weird, but that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> it doesn't taste like wetsuits. Not that I've ever eaten a wetsuit. 
dude, you get the best barrels ever, dude. So not only is this amazing wheatgrass filled with chlorophyll and iron, it's also filled with so many more vitamins and minerals, vitamins A, C, E and K, folic acid, calcium, and all the antioxidants in it are so, so good for you. It's been proven to help with things like mental health and depression. This stuff, I think so many more people should be um, having wheatgrass and I think it's just down to people that really believe in it spreading the message and I'm so happy that I started doing it. Food is medicine first and foremost, but I think so much of the time we rely on food once the damage has already been done. Now, you know, you may think I'm a bit strange by juicing wheatgrass um, every day when I can, um, but this is my way of preventing illness and trying to make sure that I'm um, as healthy as possible. And um, I think wheatgrass, especially when you're vegan, getting as many of those vitamins and minerals into your diet in a small, quick dose almost is really good for you. And um, just in case you know you're lacking on certain things, it's really good to have this in your diet, I believe. So guys, there's our green blood or our magic juice, our juice of the sun. <laughs> Shining so much forever. I had, just so you know, I had a very late night last night. I stayed up to watch the boxing. And um, yeah, congratulations, Andy Ruiz. I know this is a bit later on, but congratulations to him. I need something like this now to um, give me some energy, so I'm quite tired. But what I'm left with, and this is this sort of stringy grass that is hard, well, it probably isn't digestible. And that's what we're left with here. I haven't found any use for this other than just putting it in a compost bin. And if your juicer is good enough, there should be no liquid left in this whatsoever and it should be dry. So now it's time to serve this amazing juice up to my crew, which is gonna boost all our immunities and fight off any illnesses. And uh, hopefully they don't mind the taste too much, but I'm gonna pick up the camera and get, your, get you their reactions. So here goes my daily wheatgrass shot. The smell is pretty intense, it's pretty strong, but you just need to put a brave face on it and just remember how healthy this is for you and just get it down you. Let's go. Mm. I just said, mmm. <laughs> it's not um, but it's, it's actually kind of sweet and fresh and um, not too bad at all. I'm obviously getting used to the flavour. And uh, one thing that it also is good for is any sort of um, mouth issues like gums, problems, and also bad breath. It can help, you know, fight that as well, which is good. So, um, yeah, there's so many good things about this stuff. I've got more to give to my crew now and we're going to get their reactions. So, Ollie, I want you first. Ollie is uh, the main cameraman. He does all the amazing close-up shots and edits the videos too, as well as my other cameraman, Tom. So Ollie coming in. Pete, do you mind uh, grabbing Ollie's camera? Now you've had wheatgrass before, yeah. but once with me, right? Mm -hmm. Only once. Yeah, I didn't like it. It's not very nice, in yeah. my opinion. All right, I'll, you've got the t-shirt to match it. Down in one, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> this is not that bad, come on. It's all right. It's yeah. quite fresh, sweet. It's fresh, but... It's sweet, no? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit sweet. Got a little bit left. He's gone back for more. <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, yeah, I feel like Superman already. <laughs> yeah. Superman. Yeah. All right, amazing. I'm gonna wash these out, and then Tom and Pete, it's your turn. Let me pick up the camera. Okay, guys. Pete, you're first. It's all right. Like Not as bad as yesterday. Well, yesterday you spilt half down your top, so. <laughs> Good, fresh today. Go on, your turn, Tom. Cheers. Ah. Yeah. Lovely grass breath. <laughs> Cow breath, sorry. Um, there we go. That's my wheatgrass video done. So to all the people on Instagram, yes, I do eat grass, essentially. But what an amazing grass this is. I'll pop all the links below for the juicer, for where they get the, the grass from. I didn't talk about price because it does vary from where you get it from. Um, and you can get around four to five shots per tray if your juice is really good. Probably more if your juice is amazing. Um, so it does work out quite cheap, especially much cheaper than buying it from like a health store 
or somewhere like that where they charge sometimes like five pound a shot or something along those lines. Um, anyway, it's a very different video, but I thought I'd let you guys know on you know, my personal grass loving life. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon. Please like, share and comment. Please subscribe. More recipe videos coming soon and welcome and thank you. Oh, I hope that wheatgrass kicks in soon because I'm tired.